Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Micro Builds. Today we're going to do something really simple um, and really quick, uh, but I think it looks really effective when you use it in marketplaces and stuff like that. And this is the billboards. Uh, I've done these recently on another video that I did for a freighter city build. So if you want to check that out, you can see them in all the glory. But uh, yeah, this is how easy they are to put up. So yep, yeah, you just grab one of these wooden panels and then slot it into place. There we go. Nice and easy. Literally is nothing to this. Like, literally. It's so easy. And then all we need to do is we need to go over to the technology bit and grab a light panel. Now you can colour these before if you want to or you can do it afterwards. It's totally up to you. But the way you get them in is like this. So let's just turn these uh, green. Yeah, so you can see they don't click in. They sit like that. So all you do is you find the centre there that line is, and then you go triangle into wire, and then you L2 and triangle together, and you will pop in a light panel, and then the one next to it will just click in like normal. So yeah, that is as easy as it is. And then all you do is you come along and you grab some of these uh, fluorescent bulbs and shrink them down so that they're the same size as the square panels. Put one on top and another one. And then put a couple below and that just lights it nicely. There we go. And then yeah, it's uh, it's totally up to do what you put on front of it. Whatever design you want, head over to your stickers, see what you've got. I think we'll go with, yeah, we'll go with this. So I centre it up, you can put it in whatever position you want. But uh, we'll pop it in the centre, like I say, we'll get it on an angle. Yeah, that looks about right. Size it up a bit, and then pop it in. Now don't worry too much if it's a bit foggy when they first come in, because uh, sometimes they take ages to uh, render in. I don't know why. Oh, I'll just change that to white. So I'll put a couple of these long panels in, just to border it off a little bit. Bring them in a little bit. Like I say, you can do whatever you want on this. I'm just totally winging it at the moment and just uh, going for it. But you can put whatever design you want on it. You uh, grab all the stickers from the anomaly and everything and go mental with it. But yeah, we'll put one of these on this side. And then I think we'll finish it off. We'll use these. I tend to use these as like alien language. I think they're really good on billboards if you sort of play around with them a bit. So yeah, there you go. One billboard done. Nice and easy. And that literally is it. One wire glitch. And like I say, as long as you practice with the wire glitch, you can get it quite easy. It does take a few times just to, to get it right. But once you get the time in, you're away. So the second one, uh, the second example that I wanted to show you is we'll use this four panelled one. And then this is a little bit different. So instead of doing the uh, light panels, we're going to go and grab some of these flat panels. And then we're going to line them up. If you go into square and uh, go into your delete menu, you can sort of get centre of this. And then just pop back out of it and line it up. Might be a little bit high these, but uh, yeah, we'll go for that. And then yeah, you can change the colours up of these as you go along. So what we have, we've got white, we've got black. Uh, yeah, and we'll go with the, yeah, we'll go with that one. And like I say, you don't have to stick with these colours. If you pop them down and you decide that you're not quite happy with it, then just change them. It depends what kind of posters you want to make and stuff like that. But yeah, I think orange looks right. Now the white one's not quite right. I don't know, maybe. But yeah, here we go again. Now, yeah, the ears are a little bit high. It doesn't matter with that, we can still pop them in. But yeah, they might want to be a little bit lower than that, just so that you can pop this in a little bit easier. But uh, four of these along the top, if it'll go. Yes, it will. There we go. Yep, pop four in on along the top, and then we'll do the same again at the bottom in a minute. And then it's up to you with these posters. I tend to do these ones individually, but you can span pictures over the t two. I won't push it to three because then it starts looking weird, but you can push it over two panels. But I think for today we're going to do each individual panel. There you go, get them in. Yep. Oh, it's that, that white one's not quite right. It's the, uh, the purple one's quite pale as well. We'll change this colour. What do we have? No, 
Oh, it's still too bright, isn't it? Oh, I've got an orange on the... Yeah, that's all right. It's a darker orange, isn't it? Yeah, that'll do. Right, so, yeah, decorate them. Again, go into your stickers. Pick whatever you want to put on. Let's have a look what we got. Let's go with the hand. I've never used this one. Actually never used this one. It's the first time I've ever used this. So I'll pop that in there. There we go. Again, it's not quite in yet, that one, but uh, you give it a couple of minutes once it's in and then it renders in. Oh, we'll have a big poster, big writing on this one. Let's just get this... Uh, if you uh, line them up next to each other before you move them apart, you can tend to get them dead straight then. Makes it a bit easier than looking wonky then. And then, we've just got another two to do. So, oh yeah, we'll pop that in there. Yeah, that'll look alright. Actually size it down a little bit. Again, you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. You can make whatever you want up. Pick whatever design you want to put on it and do whatever you want. Um, I haven't done it on this build, but uh, you can actually take the bulbs, uh, the original uh, lights that went on the wall, the ones that are all different colours, and you can match them up so you can put like two at the top, two at the bottom, and then it kind of gives it a neon effect if you wanted to go for something like cyberpunk or something like that. It's the same with the light panels. I mean, you can light them up if you want to and uh, you get the cyberpunk feel, but sometimes it sort of like dilutes the colour a little bit and you kind of lose the, the boldness of the colour uh, when the light comes through. So I tend to leave them off sometimes. But again, uh, if you pop over to uh, Freighter City build that I did, you'll get to see all the light panels uh, lit up and uh, used for like a cyberpunk feel. So let's finish off this. This is nearly done. See where some bits render in really quick and some don't. That hand still hasn't come in. I think there's a picture of the skull and bones on the other side that hadn't come in. I'm still waiting for that and I built them like an hour ago. So yeah, there you go. That's literally it. That's all you have to do. Again, the fluorescent bulbs do help. Uh, they do light them up at night. And it does still look quite cool. And you still get the sharpness of the colour. I mean, that green almost disappears completely when it's lit up. But yeah, there you go. Nice easy billboards if you wanted to decorate out a marketplace or something. We'll just, uh, I'll just show you what I mean. So if we just wire these up. Let's so just get these two wired up together. You saw how sharp the red and the, the blue was on the, uh, yeah. So we'll pop that in there. And you see what I mean? That blue almost disappears completely. Which, to be honest, it still looks cool. It's just, it depends what you're going for. I mean, if you are going for something that's a little bit more, like, tech-based, like, kind of base then yeah it might work but it, I think it works either way really it doesn't really matter but uh, yeah there you go guys I uh, I hope that gives you some uh, bits and bobs to play around with if you're doing your bases and uh, thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video take care I'll see you soon